Um, hi, my name is David Harris, and I am an IT professional. Today, I'm going to share some stories, some experiences I've had as an IT professional, and hopefully a little wisdom, which sounds super boring. But fortunately, I have other skills. I've taught myself how to do this. Which isn't that cool, I know, unless you can also do this. And I can, so it is. So I'm going to sprinkle these stunts and tricks throughout this performance, transforming a topic that can be very dull and boring into one that is awkward. <laughs> and maybe a little boring. <laughs> now, in my career as a developer, I'm not particularly smart. But the thing I can do is fail over and over and over again. I can tie those yo-yo strings in knots. I can drop those balls onto the floor as many times as it takes to learn the next trick. When I'm writing some gnarly PHP function, I can get it wrong as many times as it takes until I stumble upon something that kind of sort of works. And yeah, it doesn't always feel like I'm changing the world, but every problem is important to someone. There are always problems, and they seem impossible. Hey, nerd, take this technology and make it do something it can't do. Hey, geek, balance this piece of paper on its edge, which is impossible. We're familiar with this technology. If you try to balance it, it will fall to the floor, absolutely. But that's impossible, we can't do that, is rarely an acceptable solution to any problem. And that's where the work begins. We get curious. We explore, we break the problem down, we get frustrated, we fail a lot. In fact, most of our time is spent in a state of frustration and failure. But if you look at this paper now, you will see that it is no longer smooth. It has crinkles and dents, giving it a structure to do something that it could not do before. Now, to be clear, these crinkles, they are our failure. Without failing, this would not be possible. Thank you very much.